out of your head to frustrate you, you need to go back and think like, why did you go natural in the first place? <laughs> your hair needs to grow. That is your business. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your fave, Nemi Effie. And in today's video, before we go into today's video, you guys, I don't know, I'm just feeling myself. Like, I decided to just, you know, do small makeup, press up a bit, you know, just to give out rich auntie vibes, you know. Anywho, okay, so let me go straight to today's topic. So, this is to address people who want to go natural and those who are at the verge of quitting, you know, you're about to relax your hair or cut your hair because you feel like this natural hair thing is a struggle. So I've been seeing a lot of videos like that on YouTube where people go to relax their natural hair like, oh, maybe after three, five, ten years of being natural, they say, nope, I'm not doing this. They go ahead and relax their hair. Now, why do we see this happening often? Like, I was just thinking and, you know, for me, I can never go back to relaxers because I have like, you know, bad experiences with relaxers and that's why I always keep pushing. I try my best to take care of my natural hair because I don't want to go down that road again. If you went natural just because you feel like, oh, that it's the trend and you want to do like really nice, cute type four hairstyles or something like, along the line, you will get frustrated and tired because you were not really doing it for yourself you were doing it because you it's a trend right so some people they are only going natural because they feel like it's a trend if you're about to go natural because it's a trend please don't do it because everything is going to frustrate you as long as you don't have a strong reason why you want to go natural everything about natural hair will frustrate you when it comes to making it taking care of it washing it and things like that it will just frustrate you Another thing is this there are just like two things I want to address here. So the first thing is that don't go natural because you see other people doing it. You need to have your own reasons why. Another thing about natural hair that can make it to become you know, a task when it comes to taking care of it for some people is the length of their hair. Now you watch YouTube videos, you go on Instagram, you see these influencers and natural hair content creators that have hair, you know, going from their scalp down to the floor, sweeping the whole street, hair to the thighs, waist length. Everybody wants to reach at least waist length. See, let me just tell you. See, the longer your natural hair is, the more effort you have to put when it comes to taking care of it. It's so easy for you to quickly wash short hair and style it, but when the hair is long, yeah, you're going to have more tangles. You need to invest more in, you know, getting the tangling products and you even use more products. So let me say this, you should have a goal length. Don't say because your favorite influencer's hair is on her waist. So therefore you want your own to get there too. Some people just want to achieve certain length to be like, oh, I did it, been there, done that. Don't do that to yourself unless you are willing to put in the work. There is a certain length that you get to that where you can style your hair as you wish, but it's also very easy to take care of. Like if I decide to trim my hair to maybe like this length or something, I will still be able to do braids. I will still be able to wear wigs. I mean, it's just going to be very easy for me. Wash day is going to be shorter. Do you understand? If you feel like you want longer hair so you can, you know, style your hair and do all these cute, fussy hairstyles, you can always do those styles with attachments weave ons and things like that like don't stress yourself it's just hair honestly it's just hair you don't have to do too much for your hair to frustrate you like for taking care of your hair to frustrate you you need to go back and think like why did you go natural in the first place and if you are planning to you need to have a strong why it can't be because it's trending no that's not a reason then number two you must have a goal length you cannot just want to grow your hair to your ankles because other people are doing it you need to reach a length you know that you can manage because if not you're going back to where you're coming from i'm going to take care of my hair the way that i can and maintain it at the length that i know is okay for me because i know all the things i passed through using relaxers like my scalp suffered but there's no but that is why i am taking care of my natural hair because i don't want to go back to relaxers now 
anytime i see a video of them putting relaxer on someone's scalp it's like it's burning me like i can still feel it like ptsd or something so basically don't go natural if you don't have a strong reason why you want to go natural and number two have a goal length stick to your length don't let anybody pressure you and be like at least your hair needs to grow that is your business do what you can manage don't do past yourself and come in peace